Level 4. Day 76. Your time is limited. Steve Jobs. Step 1. Preview. Death is very likely the single best invention of life. It's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make way for the new. Right now, the new is you. But someday, not too long from now, you will gradually become the old and be cleared away. Sorry to be so dramatic, but it's quite true. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Death is very likely the single best invention of life. Number 2. It's life's change agent. Number 3. It clears out the old to make way for the new. Number 4. Right now, the new is you. Number 5. But someday, not too long from now, you will gradually become the old and be cleared away. Number 6. Sorry to be so dramatic, but it's quite true. Number 7. Your time is limited. Number 8. So don't waste it living someone else's life. Step 3. Paragraph. Death is very likely the single best invention of life. It's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make way for the new. Right now, the new is you. But someday, not too long from now, you will gradually become the old and be cleared away. Sorry to be so dramatic, but it's quite true. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. It clears out the old to make way for the new. Number 2. You will gradually become the old and be cleared away. Number 3. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Day 77. That distance is a constant. Indra Nuyi. Step 1. Preview. The distance between number 1 and number 2 is always a constant. If you want to improve the organization, you have to improve yourself, and the organization gets pulled up with you. That is a big lesson. I cannot just expect the organization to improve if I don't improve myself and lift the organization, because that distance is a constant. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. The distance between number 1 and number 2 is always a constant. Number 2. If you want to improve the organization. Number 3. You have to improve yourself. Number 4. And the organization gets pulled up with you. Number 5. That is a big lesson. Number 6. I cannot just expect the organization to improve. Number 7. If I don't improve myself and lift the organization. Number 8. Because that distance is a constant. Step 3. Paragraph. The distance between number 1 and number 2 is always a constant. If you want to improve the organization, you have to improve yourself. And the organization gets pulled up with you. That is a big lesson. I cannot just expect the organization to improve if I don't improve myself and lift the organization. Because that distance is a constant. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. If you want to improve the organization, you have to improve yourself. Number 2. The organization gets pulled up with you. Number 3. I cannot just expect the organization to improve. Day 78. I am somebody. 
Rita Pearson. Step 1. Preview. I gave them a saying to say, I am somebody. I was somebody when I came. I'll be a better somebody when I leave. I am powerful and I am strong. I deserve the education that I get here. I have things to do, people to impress, and places to go. And they said, yeah. You say it long enough, it starts to be a part of you. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. I gave them a saying to say. Number 2. I am somebody. I was somebody when I came. Number 3. I'll be a better somebody when I leave. Number 4. I am powerful and I am strong. Number 5. I deserve the education that I get here. Number 6. I have things to do, people to impress, and places to go. Number 7. And they said, yeah. Number 8. You say it long enough, it starts to be a part of you. Step 3. Paragraph. I gave them a saying to say, I am somebody. I was somebody when I came. I'll be a better somebody when I leave. I am powerful and I am strong. I deserve the education that I get here. I have things to do, people to impress, and places to go. And they said, yeah. You say it long enough, it starts to be a part of you. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. I am somebody. Number 2. I'll be a better somebody when I leave. Number 3. I deserve the education that I get here. Day 79. The light of love is always in us. Bell Hooks. Step 1. Preview. In an ideal world, we would all learn in childhood to love ourselves. We would grow, being secure in our worth and value, spreading love wherever we went, letting our light shine. If we did not learn self-love in our youth, there is still hope. The light of love is always in us, no matter how cold the flame. It is always present, waiting for the spark to ignite waiting for the heart to awaken and call us back to the first memory of being the life force inside a dark place waiting to be born, waiting to see the light. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. In an ideal world, we would all learn in childhood to love ourselves. Number 2. We would grow, being secure in our worth and value spreading love wherever we went, letting our light shine. Number 3. If we did not learn self-love in our youth, there is still hope. Number 4. The light of love is always in us, no matter how cold the flame. Number 5. It is always present, waiting for the spark to ignite, waiting for the heart to awaken and call us back. Number 6. To the first memory of being the life force inside a dark place waiting to be born, waiting to see the light. Step 3. Paragraph. In an ideal world, we would all learn in childhood to love ourselves. We would grow, being secure in our worth and value, spreading love wherever we went, letting our light shine. If we did not learn self-love in our youth, there is still hope. The light of love is always in us, no matter how cold the flame. It is always present, waiting for the spark to ignite, waiting for the heart to awaken and call us back to the first memory of being the life force inside a dark place waiting to be born, waiting to see the light. Step 4. Exercise Number 1. We would learn in childhood to love ourselves. Step 2. 
If we did not learn self-love in our youth, there is still hope. Step 3. The light of love is always in us, no matter how cold the flame. Day 80. Try again. Sheryl Sandberg. Step 1. Preview. What about the rat race in the first place? Is it worthwhile? Or are you just buying into someone else's definition of success? Only you can decide that, and you'll have to decide it over and over and over. But if you think it's a rat race, before you drop out, take a deep breath. Maybe you picked the wrong job. Try again. And then try again. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. What about the rat race in the first place? Number 2. Is it worthwhile? Number 3. Or are you just buying into someone else's definition of success? Number 4. Only you can decide that, and you'll have to decide it over and over and over. Number 5. But if you think it's a rat race, before you drop out, take a deep breath. Number six. Maybe you picked the wrong job. Number seven. Try again, and then try again. Step three. Paragraph. What about the rat race in the first place? Is it worthwhile? Or are you just buying into someone else's definition of success? Only you can decide that, and you'll have to decide it over and over and over. But if you think it's a rat race, before you drop out, take a deep breath. Maybe you picked the wrong job. Try again, and then try again. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Is it worthwhile? Number 2. Are you just buying into someone else's definition? Number three. Maybe you picked the wrong job. Day 81. You have more than we had. Bill Gates. Step 1. Preview. We can make market forces work better for the poor if we can develop a more creative capitalism. If we can stretch the reach of market forces so that more people can make a profit, or at least make a living, serving people who are suffering from the worst inequities. You have more than we had. You must start sooner and carry on longer. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. We can make market forces work better for the poor. Number 2. If we can develop a more creative capitalism. Number three, if we can stretch the reach of market forces. Number four, so that more people can make a profit or at least make a living. Number five, serving people who are suffering from the worst inequities. Number six, you have more than we had. Number seven, you must start sooner and carry on longer. Step 3. Paragraph. We can make market forces work better for the poor if we can develop a more creative capitalism. If we can stretch the reach of the market forces so that more people can make a profit, or at least make a living, serving people who are suffering from the worst inequities, you have more than we had. You must start sooner and carry on longer. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. We can make market forces work better for the poor. Number 2. More people can make a profit. Number 3. You must start sooner and carry on longer. Day 82. Have dreams, but have goals. Denzel Washington. Step 1. Preview. Don't be afraid to dream big, but remember dreams without goals 
are just dreams, and they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals. To achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency every day. You have to work at it. I try to give myself a goal every day. Sometimes it's just not to curse somebody out. Step two, sentence. Number one. Don't be afraid to dream big. Number two. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. Number three. And they ultimately fuel disappointment. Number four. So have dreams, but have goals. Number five. To achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency every day. Number six. You have to work at it. Number seven. I try to give myself a goal every day. Number eight. Sometimes it's just not to curse somebody out. Step three, paragraph. Don't be afraid to dream big, but remember, dreams without goals are just dreams, and they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals. To achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency every day. You have to work at it. I try to give myself a goal every day. Sometimes, it's just not to curse somebody out. Step four, exercise. Number one. Don't be afraid to dream big. Number two. Dreams without goals are just dreams. Number three. To achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency every day. Day eighty-three. Act up. Mark Ruffalo. Step one. Preview. I'm asking each of you at some point to act up, be misbehaved, buck the system, fight for what you believe in. This is the time to do it. You're the ones to do it. Your world, like no other generation, you actually get to create the world that you can imagine. And never in the history of mankind has it been so available to so many people. To do that thing. Step two, sentence. Number one. I'm asking each of you at some point to act up, be misbehaved. Number two. Buck the system, fight for what you believe in. Number three. This is the time to do it. You're the ones to do it. Number four. Your world, like no other generation, you actually get to create the world that you can imagine. Number five. And never in the history of mankind has it been so available to so many people to do that thing. Step three, paragraph. I'm asking each of you at some point to act up, be misbehaved, buck the system. Fight for what you believe in. This is the time to do it. You're the ones to do it. Your world, like no other generation, you actually get to create the world that you can imagine. And never in the history of mankind has it been so available to so many people to do that thing. Step four, exercise. Number one. I'm asking each of you. To act up. Number two. Buck the system. Number three. Fight for what you believe in. Day eighty-four. There is no such thing as failure. Oprah Winfrey. Step one. Preview. It doesn't matter how far you might rise. At some point, you are bound to stumble. If you're constantly pushing yourself higher, the law of averages, not to mention the myth of Icarus, predicts that you will at some point fall. And when you do, I want you to know this: remember this: there is no such thing as failure. 
Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. It doesn't matter how far you might rise. Number 2. At some point you are bound to stumble. Number 3. If you're constantly pushing yourself higher. Number 4. The law of averages, not to mention the myth of Icarus, predicts that you will at some point fall. Number 5. And when you do, I want you to know this. Remember this. Number 6. There is no such thing as failure. Number 7. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Step 3. Paragraph. It doesn't matter how far you might rise. At some point you are bound to stumble. If you're constantly pushing yourself higher, the law of averages, not to mention the myth of Icarus, predicts that you will at some point fall. And when you do, I want you to know this. Remember this. There is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. It doesn't matter how far you might rise. Number 2. At some point you are bound to stumble. Number 3. There is no such thing as failure. Day 85. Pour your heart. Emma Watson. Step 1. Preview. Becoming yourself is really hard and confusing, and it's a process. I was completely the eager beaver in school. I was the girl in the front of the class who was the first person to put her hand up. And it's often not cool to be the person that puts themselves out there. And I've often gotten teased mercilessly. But I found that, ultimately, if you truly pour your heart into what you believe in, even if it makes you vulnerable, amazing things can and will happen. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Becoming yourself is really hard and confusing, and it's a process. Number 2. I was completely the eager beaver in school. Number 3. I was the girl in the front of the class who was the first person to put her hand up. Number 4. And it's often not cool to be the person that puts themselves out there. Number 5. And I've often gotten teased mercilessly. Number 6. But I found that ultimately, if you truly pour your heart into what you believe in. Number 7. Even if it makes you vulnerable, amazing things can and will happen. Step 3. Paragraph. Becoming yourself is really hard and confusing, and it's a process. I was completely the eager beaver in school. I was the girl in the front of the class who was the first person to put her hand up. And it's often not cool to be the person that puts themselves out there. And I've often gotten teased mercilessly. But I found that ultimately, if you truly pour your heart into what you believe in, even if it makes you vulnerable, amazing things can and will happen. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Becoming yourself is really hard and confusing. Number 2. I've often gotten teased mercilessly. Number 3. Amazing things can and will happen.